Now for this question, let's see what do we have. So the diagram shows a circular cross section of a uniform cylindrical log with center O and radius 20 centimeters. As you can see here, it is a circle first. That's the first thing we know. And the center of the circle is O. Okay, good. And the radius is 20. So that's, these are the given information that we have at first. Again, these are just big words to scare you. But the main idea is that this is a circle, center O and radius 20. Good. Now we have the points A, X, and B. So A, X, and B, they lie on the circumference of the circle and AB is 32. So this length of A to B will be 32. Okay, good to know. Now, what are the things that we can kind of derive from this? So by observation, you can see that OA and OB, they are both radius, which means these two have to be same. Right, that's the first thing we can kind of derive. Now, um, something else we can also have a look at, it will be, if you think, this will be 20, obviously. But if you were to join O and X, if it is exactly in between, we realize that it will break this down exactly in half. However, let's proceed first with the question and see what can we prove. So the first step here is to do what? Part one, we have to show the angle AOB. So we have AOB, so this angle here, is given by 1.855 radians. So pretty easy. If you guys have a look, if you take out the, the triangle, we have triangle A, B, and then O here. Right, this is the angle that I'm trying to find. This is A and B. This is 20, this is 20, and this is 32. Now, we have seen this many times before. The way of thinking is, if you know all the three sides of a triangle, and you're trying to find the angle in between of the two sides, we can use the cosine rule. So that will be a formula you guys have to know. That will be cosine of the angle. That will be 20 square plus 20 square, the sum of the square of both sides, and minus 32 square, the difference of the square of the opposite side of the angle. And then divide by 2 times 20 times 20. So this is a formula you guys have to know for the cosine rule. Again, definitely memorize this formula that will help you to find the answers. Let's first simplify this. That will be 20 square plus 20 square minus 32 square divided by 2 times 20 times 20. That will be cos of this will give you minus 0 0.28. Now obviously here we have to find the angle in terms of radians, so let's have a look. That will become cos inverse for the answer, that will be, as we can see that should be, uh, angle O was found to be 1.85459, which means, correct to three decimal places, that should be indeed 1.855. Okay, so that will be your answer for part one, shown as required. That is the value of the angle. Now for part two, we have to find the area of a sector AXBO. So first thing is, where is AXBO? As we can see, A is here, XBO. So we have to find the area of this whole thing. Now, usually, how do you find area of a sector? So we know we have to use the formula that we know. The area of a sector is equal to half all square theta. Theta is just the angle in between. So half is half, all square is the radius, that is 20, square and times the angle in between that will be uh, let's use the exact value here that will be 1.85459 let's see what do we get so answer is this so times half times r square that will be 370.918 so correct to 3 itself that will be 371 for the area of sector axbo that will be uh, centimeters uh, square for area. Okay, good. Now let's move on. Now, the sec section AXBC, so AXBCD, this section, okay, where ABCD is a rectangle with AD equal to 18. So AD is equal to 18, has been removed. So we remove that part. Okay, good to know. Now, part three, we have to find the area of the new cross-section shown as the 
shaded region. So basically we have to find the area of this region. So we understand that at first we had this whole circle. We took off the rectangle and the shape. We only have to find the area of the shaded region. So how, what is the first idea that comes to your mind? Is that, hey, we have to find this, this gray area only. But first thing is, we know that we have to first find the whole area. That's the, that's the first big idea that comes to my mind. First, let's find the whole thing, right? Area of a circle. So what is that? That will be pi r square, which is 20 square. That will be what? 20 square, that will be 400. Now again, this is you have to know as uh, your formula as, um, because this will not be given to you. So you have to know area of a square, oh, sorry, circle, area of a circle is given to you pi r square. This is the formula you have to know for area of a circle, right? Now part one, we have to find the whole thing. Now we understand that right now we have everything. We want to remove this part. Like what is this part? As we can see, there's two pieces we can, we can find step by step. We can first find the area of the rectangle. So remove. So let me use a different color here. Step number two. We have to remove the, the white part. So the white part is consisting of two parts. One part is the area of the rectangle. So let's do that. Rectangle is what? Pretty easy. How do you find area of rectangle? It is the length times the width. So the length is 32 times the width, it is 18. That will be 32 times 18. That will be 576. So the rectangle will be 576, as we can see. Okay, great. That's the first part. So now this is gone. But we also have to remove this part, right? So how can you find the area of the segment? Now, if you think, I know the area of the whole sector, A, X, B, O. We know this area. So let me draw something here. So now for part three, we have to find the area of the segment A, X, B, which is only the top part here because we know the rectangle already. We just want this one to be removed now. So by observation, you can see, we know the area of this shape from part two of the question. So we know this one. This is A, B, O, this is X. So we know this whole thing is equal to what? It is equal to 370.918. So we know this whole thing. We want to remove the area of the triangle. So how do you find area of a triangle? So pretty easy. Again, this is another formula you guys have to know. It is half times sine of the angle in between and then times the two sides around the, the angle. That will be 20 times 20. So pretty easy, replace half sine of the angle, as we have seen it is 1.85459. I'll be using the exact value. And then we have 20 times 20, that will be 20 squared. Let's see what does that give me. So half times sine of 1.858, sorry, 85459 times 20 square, that should be 192.0 as the value of the triangle. Now again, we only care about the top for now. Segment AXB, the top will be what? The whole thing, which is 370.918 minus the area of the triangle. 192, that will be 178.918. Okay, great to know. This is the area on top. Now, it is not done yet. As we have seen, the area that we need will be what? Will be the whole thing, as we can see this, 400 pi. Let's write this down, the whole thing. Minus the area of the rectangle, which is 576. And minus the area of the top part here, as we have just found to be 178.918. So let's find out. 400 pi minus 576 minus 178.918. That will be 
0.01.719. Again, if you have um, non-exact values, we have to write this down correct to 3SF, that will be 502, and that will be centimeters square as your answer. That will be part three of this question. Again, the questions are not very hard by itself. We have to think logically, how can we proceed one by one? And just think, hey, how can I find this? Now again, this is not the only way of doing this question. You can always proceed step by step and find out the best way that is that suits you to find this kind of answers. Now, I think this is one of the easiest way. That's why I've done it this way. But you can see here, there's a few formulas you guys have to know to solve this. We have to know how to find the area of a circle, how to find the area of a rectangle, how to find the area of a sector, how to use the cosine rule, and finally, how to find the area of a triangle using the, the formula right here. So there's a few things you guys have to know to solve this kind of question. And that will be a question involving circular measure.